Well, it's snowing. I had to go to the post office to get the uh, barrels or the uh, brass tubes that are shaped like an octagon for the uh, barrel of my uh, rifle and uh, my Hawkins. And we'll see if that all works out or not. It, uh, it's cold. We got a north wind and it's, uh, let's see, what is the temperature? 26 degrees right now. But with the wind chill, it's probably just a little lower than that. All right, I'm gonna stop recording and go park in my garage, my warm garage. <laughs> And I'll be coming right back to work on the clay. Time to play with some clay. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the company that I got the uh, brass tubes from. And uh, just so you know, I'm covering up my mailing address. And the barrel is perfect. I mean, the uh, di diameter of this uh, rod, this uh, tube, is perfect for the size of the uh, barrel of the uh, rifle the 50 caliber Hawkins it's just a little bit short <laughs> I'll fix that all right I'm going to cut out an outline for the uh, gun Now this is a scaled drawing of the rifle to the uh, scale of the uh, figure that I'm doing on horseback. And so I'm going to uh, use this as a guide for my uh, rifle. I'm going to See if I got that. Yeah. I've got a shim that I bought from the hardware store or lumber yard. You can get it there too. It's a thin piece of wood. I'm not sure this is the best idea in the world, but I got to do something that I can put this barrel on. Okay. I will have the uh, heater going on every once in a while. It's in the 20s outside, so it gets cold in the studio real quick if I don't have the heat on. All right, I've got the uh, outline of the uh, stock of the rifle made. The barrel will fit right there. 
and I'll glue it in with the uh, with uh, Gorilla Glue. It's hard to see. <laughs> Be right back. All right, I put a dab of uh, Elmer's glue out here, and I'm going to. glue this uh, piece that split off on the uh, stock I'm going to put it in a piece of clay to keep it upright. So I've glued the uh, split part on uh, to the uh, main part and uh, I've stuck it into a clay lump to keep it upright while it hardens. Next thing I'm going to do is make a uh, ramrod for the uh, rifle. I've got a small uh, anvil I've had for years. I don't remember where I got it from, but uh, I've probably had this for 30 years or more. It comes in handy. What I'm doing is I'm straightening out the uh, wire as best I can. That's going to be the ramrod. And it will go under the barrel. Like that. Now I get my Gorilla Glue and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. I'm going to put the uh, barrel on the uh, gun. I'm going to mark where the uh, stock ends. Now I put a little dab of uh, Gorilla glue on this piece of wood. Well, this stuff's messy. I'm not even sure this is going to work. But, i got to try. Okay. I'm going to put a little job of Gorilla glue on the uh, rod. And uh, I'll put the rod right there. I'm not sure this is going to even work. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna get this stuff on my hands. All right, I'm gonna leave that and let it sit. Don't wanna mess with that too much. All right, I know that's not a lot to do today, but uh, I wanna keep this in position here till it completely uh, hardens or, or cures uh, the glue and the the uh, stock and the uh, glue on the uh, barrel for the uh, rod and uh, boy, I'd like to put that stock on 
but you can see I've got the uh, rod ending right where the barrel or the stock uh, starts or ends. And so we'll, we'll pick that up tomorrow. I've got shaping to do on the uh, top of the uh, butt of the rifle. All right, everybody. Good night. I'm going to probably take uh, tomorrow off uh, for the uh, so I can be, make sure I get up to the uh, Virginia City to vote. Uh, I've got a friend that's going to probably go with me. Uh, he, he's uh, going to drive his big truck because we got a lot of snow on the road, and that pass going up uh, the mountain to Virginia City can be really, really fun to drive on in the snow. And uh, I just want to make sure I get up there and get back. I don't know if I'll get back in time to actually work on this uh, sculpture, but if I do, I'll record it, whatever, whatever amount of time it takes. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.